Alrighty, the announcement has dropped. I'm so excited. I was pretty spot on. I, okay, you gotta give it to me. I was pretty spot on. I just got the manufacturer wrong for the flat ride. I wasn't expecting a first of a kind. To be honest, when I was predicting which flat ride would go in this plot of land that we knew where it was going, um, I just assumed we were gonna get one of what Carowinds was getting and even possibly two because those ones were a lot cheaper. But Wonderland went full out and invested in a first of its kind in the world from what we've been told, okay, we've got a little more information for you on a lot of things, including the water park, by the way, so stay tuned. Um, and we're going to talk about the double-launched coaster with two show buildings. So that's pretty exciting. A lot of people don't know a lot about this coaster, but I'm going to give you a lot of information. So this flat ride is going to rotate at pretty much every axis. It's going to spin on the... I don't know the axis and all that, but it's going to spin, as you see in the picture, like through the structure. It's going to rotate circular and the gondolas are gonna spin as well. So it's a lot of spinning. It's a, it's a really high intense ride. First of its kind in the world, located right next to Yukon Striker. The drink stand building and the funnel cake building is getting removed by the looks of it. And lots of just really cute theming added into the area. Really love the color scheme. Um, but that brings me to this new double launch coaster coming to Canada's Wonderland. I assumed it was gonna be a junior coaster. I was not expecting a family coaster this soon after Yukon Striker, to be honest. Um, this does concern me now in terms of our next big coasters lineup. Uh, so we were hoping for 2024, 2025. That's definitely not going to be 2024. Um, so we could be looking at 2025 and that's like, whew, that's, that, that's, uh, you know, that like 2026 could be the year 2027 even if this is a, a pretty high investment, but it's going to have two show buildings. So you're going to have the first show building and the station there, the red barn. Um, and then it's gonna launch. And the second show building where you're gonna take a little break is that blue barn over there and then it's gonna launch you again. Um, so this is a really exciting addition to Canada's Wonderland to be honest. It's packed with theming. It's gonna be the most themed ride at Canada's Wonderland. Um, I am a little shocked at the concept of putting kind of a family coaster right in Planet Snoopy. You're gonna draw some other people into that area. So I'm a little shocked. That's why I wasn't expecting a family coaster, the concept of drawing others we don't know if there's going to be a minimum height requirement now or a maximum height requirement i should say sorry but with it being a family coaster and they are labeling it a family coaster i don't think there will be a a max height requirement um but who knows who knows it is a planet snoopy ride so it could go either way um from my understanding it is a gertzlauer i could be incorrect about that so please take that tidbit with uh, a grain of salt um, and this is part of a phased expansion into Dinosaurs Alive. So there will be more coming. Um, there also could be another restaurant coming to Kendra's Wonderland next year that wasn't announced. There is a lot of insulation sitting in the parking lot, enough for an entire new building. So again, that could be for this new roller coaster. It is Winterfest proof. It will run during Winterfest. That is the reason they went with launched. Um, the whole reason you can't really run a lift hill roller coaster is it comes down to the grease for the uh, the lift chain. It's the chains that are a big problem. So these are really exciting additions. I'm super excited that we are pretty accurate. I mean, this uh, that was pretty darn close. No one else was guessing what we were guessing. So I'm gonna give it to myself, you know, got the wrong manufacturer for the flat ride, but we guessed the coaster in Dinosaurs Alive. Um, again, there could be more coming into Dinosaurs Alive. They don't always announce everything if it's just a restaurant and a building, you can actually see uh, a, a mini food service station in the renderings here. But I'm super excited. What do you guys think about all these additions coming? These are pretty good investments, especially if you look at some of the other parks investments as well. I'm pretty happy that Wonderland built a family coaster and then also gave the thrill side of the park a flat ride. That's pretty rare that we see that. So those are some heavy investments. Wonderland's had a really intense year in terms of attendance. Um, so it's definitely paying off and I, there's more investments coming in 2024. Let me tell you, definitely some more flat rides and super soaker and the plunge. Yeah. They'll be operational in 2023 from what we're hearing through the rumor mill replacement parts have finally been ordered. Um, so that should be up and running in 2023 as well. So don't fret. Everything's looking good. Wonderland's got some great additions for 2023. I'm so hyped. This is so well themed. Um, and it's really going to suit the park's direction in terms of becoming a theme park really well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.